Hello everybody, this is SwagingChannel.com and today we're taking a look at the Sony Xperia Tipo, uh, the entry level device from Sony. So there's two versions available in the market uh, in Q3. There's the dual SIM version which is this one and there's the single SIM version. Um, how do you differentiate between the two versions? Well the dual SIM version comes in two color colors, uh, the silver one that you see here and also a black unit. So those are the um, dual SIM versions. The single SIM versions come in a multitude of colors which include red, blue, white, uh, as well as black. Alright, so let's take a look at this um, cheap and cheerful entry level device from Sony. At the back you get a 3.2 megapixel camera with basic unit uh, and a speaker. At the front uh, there's a 3.2 inch display with uh, 320 by 480 resolution. It runs uh, on a 800 megahertz uh, single core processor with 512 MB of RAM and about two gigs of uh, usable storage. Uh, there's also support for micro SD up to 32 gigs. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for, for, you know, for 800 megahertz device, uh, it's, it feels pretty snappy. Let's take a look at the settings. You can see that there's a there's a dual SIM setting somewhere on here. I'm just trying to find that for you. Yep. So this uh, helps you uh, switch between the two SIM cards that you have installed in the device. There's also a, uh, there's also a button on this side. So this button here is for switching between SIM cards. Uh, at the top of it is of course the volume rocker power button is on this side which uh, actually is quite cumbersome we prefer devices that have power buttons on the side maybe here or here okay so that's pretty much it in terms of the feel well it's a uh, it's a pretty decent feel can't help to f you know to be plasticky it's really plasticky but uh, I guess build quality is okay considering the price which is not available at the moment but we're thinking that this is going to be probably around the 600 to or less range. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's just check out the camera. So you can find that. So this is the camera. Screen refresh rate is pretty good, as you can see. Not bad for a 3.2 inch uh, 480 by 320 resolution device. Uh, let's try and take some snaps. Yeah, Single-handed. Let's do it the other way around. Okay, so take some snaps. Not bad. Let's see if there's a burst mode. Uh, no, don't think there's a burst mode. Yep, I can do that as well. Yeah, so as far as I can tell, there's no burst mode. But, as you can see, it's, uh, the Tipo is, you know, giving pretty decent performance considering the specifications. Let's check out the browser. Oh, this is preloaded earlier. Go into a... We're on Wi-Fi right now. So this is probably because of the network. Yep. So this is of course a version a device that doesn't have a lot of applications installed but as you can see it's pretty decent. Multitasking on ice cream sandwich. Well, there's some lag there, but overall, not bad. Alright, so that was a brief look at the Sony Xperia Tipo, Sony's, um, one of Sony's entry level devices coming to Malaysia in Q3. We don't have the price at the moment, but again, we're gonna think that it's probably gonna be 600, 800 maybe, or less. Alright, this is Swaychicha.com, and that was a look at the Sony Xperia. Tipo. As always, thanks very much for watching the video, thanks very much for subscribing to the channel, and thanks very much for liking the video.
this is sochicha.com. Catch you guys later.